Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make that blanket there that you just saw in the picture. So the size of that blanket is approximately 53 inches wide and about 62 inches tall and that includes the border that is around it. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the yarn that I used. Now you do not have to use the yarn that I'm using. Any um, color that you'd like, you know, if you want different colors every row, you know, whatever, it's just fine, but I'll show you what I used. For, so that rainbow color that you see in the picture is Ice Yarns, which you can get at iceyarns.com. It is the Picasso yarn. It is a medium weight number four, 44 acrylic, and 56 polyester. And there are about 125 yards or 115 meters per ball. And so for that rainbow color that you see in the blanket, um, they're like bricks, the, like the main brick color is the rainbow. Um, you're going to need about 1,550 yards, that's approximately, for the size that I'm making. Any four weight yarn will work, remember you don't have to use this. And then for the black part, which I kind of like to call the mortar, because you know, of, of the bricks, I use Mainstay from Walmart, which is a 100% acrylic medium weight number four, and there are 397 roll, uh, yards, or 363 three meters per ball and you're going to need about 1200 yards for the uh, black part of the blanket and that includes the border as well which I use for around the border and then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook I'm not going to be using the black it's going to use another scrap I have some pink for scrap because you won't be able to see the black or some people won't be able to see the black on camera so i'll just use a different color okay so this stitch is done in a multiple of eight plus two in case you want to make it bigger or smaller um, but if you want to follow along with me you want a starting chain of 178 stitches 178 we'll go ahead and start row one by doing a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook so we never count the one that's on our hook one two and in that second stitch we're going to single crochet and then we're going to work a single crochet in every stitch of the chain just like this so row one is very easy it's just one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your row All right, I'm coming to the end of row one and I'm actually gonna switch colors um, on the last stitch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into that last stitch and I'm going to draw up a loop like I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm gonna bring in whatever color I'm using for the middle of the bricks. And I'm just going to pull it through those remaining two stitches. And then I'm going to set my work down and I'm gonna tie the tail of my new color and then the tail of the color that I used for the outline together just so it doesn't slip away and then we can start again just put a little knot there all right and now we can start row two so row two starts the repeat row it is an eight row repeat but they're very easy and they're all very similar to do uh, rows two through nine so we're gonna go ahead and start row two we're going to chain one and turn our work like that. So we're going to start off by putting a single crochet into the very first stitch. And we're going to start the repeat of row two. We are going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And in the next one, we're going to put seven double crochets all into the same stitch so skip your three skip 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 and we'll put seven doubles all into the same stitch so there is one two three four five six 
and there's seven. Then we're going to skip three stitches again. One, two, three, skip, 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 and single crochet into the next. And that will end the repeat of row two. So we'll go ahead and do it again. We're going to skip three stitches, skip, 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 and we'll put seven double crochets into the next. There's seven. Skip three again, skip, 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 and single into the next. And we're gonna repeat this pattern till we get near the end of the row. So skip three, one, two, three, seven doubles into the next. Skip three, one, two, three, and single into the next. So I'm gonna continue this, and I'll meet back up with you near the end of row two. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two, and I just did um, seven double crochets here, and I have four stitches that remain. Go ahead and skip three, and single crochet into your last stitch. And that will end row two, and it will look like that. So we'll go ahead and start row three by chaining one with the same color and turning our work. Row three is going to be a single crochet row. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to be putting one single crochet in every single stitch. Starting with this very first one right here, we go into that and single crochet. And then I'm gonna work across and I'm gonna put one single crochet in every stitch until I make it to the end of row three. This is pretty easy. Just like that. So I will meet back up with you when I make it to the end of row three. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. I'm gonna switch colors back to my color, my color that I'm using as my outline. So I'm gonna switch on the very last stitch here. So I'm not tying off my colors. You can if you want. I'm just gonna carry them along though as I go. So I'm gonna go into this very last stitch here and like I'm going to do a single crochet and drop a loop. I'm going to drop that color and bring in my other one that I was using on row one and then pull it through and then we can start on row four. So that'll end row three and that's what it starts to look like. So for row four, we will chain one and turn our work. And now we're going to put a single crochet back into this very first stitch here like that and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next seven across this shell here so counting this single crochet will have eight here on this beginning shell so here's one two three four five six seven and there's eight now we only have eight on the beginning and the last shell okay so we got our eight single crochet now we're going to do a drop a double crochet and we're going to do it down here where this single crochet went two rows below you see that in this spot right here 
So the drop double is the same as a regular double. We're going to yarn over, but we're going to go way down here into that stitch where that single crochet went two rows before and draw up a longer loop just like that. And then go ahead and do your double crochet like normal, just like that. And now we're going to start the repeat by doing one single crochet into the next seven stitches. Now remember we do not count the, we don't, there's one behind this drop double that we do not work into. This one right here, this drop, drop double counts for that stitch. So just start in the next one and we're going to work seven single crochets in a row. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. And now we need to do our drop double crochet again. So if you look two rows below, you'll see right here where the single crochet went into. Yarn over and go into that same stitch and draw up a loop but draw it up a little bit taller than normal and then do your double crochet just like that like usual and then we are going to repeat one single crochet into the next seven one two three four, five, six, seven, and then we drop double again, right down here. You can see where the single crochet went. So yarn over, go into that same spot and draw up a loop a little bit taller and then double crochet like normal, just like that. So we're gonna repeat that pattern until we get to the last shell of our row. All right, once you make it here to the end and you're at, you have this last shell here, you're gonna wanna do one single crochet in the remaining, there'll be eight stitches now because you have the seven of the, sh of the shell plus the one on the end. So just go ahead and work single crochet in the remaining eight stitches. like that. That'll end row four. And we'll go ahead and start row five by chaining one with the same collar and turning our work. And this is going to be a single crochet row, but we're going to be working in the back loop only. So if you look at your stitch here, you'll see that there's two loops. The one closest to you is the front loop and the one furthest of the way is the back loop. So working in the back loop of this very first stitch, it's always the hardest one to get. See that? You're only going through one loop now and single crochet. And I'm going to work my way across putting one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch across. This is row five. And we're going to switch colors at the end of this row. So I'll meet back up with you at the last stitch of the row. Remember one single in every stitch, but only going through the back loop only. And that's what's creating that little bit of a ridge that you see. It's not much of one, but there you go. All right, I'm coming to the end of row five. And I'm going to switch colors here on the very last stitch. So I'm going to go into the back loop of it and draw up a loop. And I'm going to drop that color and I'm going to bring my other color back in. And then I'm going to pull it through. And that will end row five. And we'll go ahead and begin row six. 
a chaining one and turning our work. So it's it's pretty similar, but as you can see, the bricks are caddy cornered. So we have to make them that way. So this time we're gonna start off with a half a shell on the end. So in the very first stitch, we're working through both loops now, not back loop. We're gonna work four double crochets into that first stitch. So there's one, two, three, and there's four. Oops. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the repeat. We are going to skip three stitches one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. Like that. Then we're going to skip three stitches again. Skip, skip, skip. And we're going to put seven double crochets into the next. Like that and if you look carefully you'll be able to see that that shell with these seven doubles is in line with this drop double here so now we're going to repeat that we are going to skip three one two three and single into the next and then we're going to skip three again one two three and put seven doubles into the next and this is the pattern that we're going to repeat So we get near the end of the row. Again, skip three, one, two, three, and single. Skip three, one, two, three, and shell or seven doubles into the next. So this is very similar to what we did on row two. So I'll meet back up with you when we get near the end of the row. And you can see now our shells are catty cornered from each other. All right, I'm coming to the end of row six and I have a single crochet. I just did a single crochet and I have four stitches that remain. I'm gonna go ahead and skip three and into the last stitch, I'm going to put four double crochets. So it's, that's like a half a shell to match the beginning that we did. And that will end row six. Now row seven, we're just gonna chain one with the same color and turn, and we're gonna do one single crochet in every stitch, starting with this very first one. Single crochet one time in every stitch until we make it to <clears throat> the, the last stitch. And at the last stitch, we will switch colors again so row seven is just one single in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you at the last stitch of our row where we'll switch colors. All right, I've come to the end of row seven. I have one stitch here left on the end. So I'm gonna go into it like I'm going to do a single crochet and drop a loop and then I'm going to drop this color and I'm going to bring back my main color back up and I'm going to pull it through like that. That'll end row seven and we can start row eight by chaining one and turning our work. All right, so we're going to put a single crochet into the first four stitches one 
I'm going through both loops. Two, three, and four. And now we're going to do our drop double into the next. So if you look, you can see right here it needs to go in the single, where our single crochet went, two rows below. So in the same stitch right there. So we yarn over and go into that same stitch, draw up a loop a little bit taller like that, and then do your double crochet as normal, just like that. And we start our repeat by putting one single crochet into the next seven stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to drop double into the next. So it goes double crochet, two rows below. So we yarn over and go into that same stitch as, as that single crochet, drop a loop a little taller, and then a double crochet. And again, one single crochet into the next seven stitches. And this is what we're gonna repeat until we get near the end of row eight. Seven and then a drop double. Seven singles and a drop double. And this is what it's starting to look like. All right, I'm coming to the end of row A. I just did a drop double and I have four stitches here that remain. I'm gonna go ahead and do a single crochet into the remaining four stitches. Just like that, that'll end row A. And now we can start row nine, which is the final repeat row where we will chain one and turn our work. And we are going to put a single crochet in the back loop of every single stitch. So we go into the back loop of our first stitch there and single crochet. And then I'm gonna work one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch until I make it to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of row nine and we would change colors here at the last stitch. So you go to that back loop draw up like you're going to do a single and bring in your other color like that and then we would start again by chaining one and turning our work and repeating row two so we'd start down here again two three four five six seven eight nine you just keep repeating Okay, now since I'm showing you on a smaller scale, you want to continue until you get approximately 62 inches tall, like mine. You can make it taller if you want, you know, it's completely up to you. Um, or about approximately 50 rows of the brick section. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put a border on it. So you can use any type of border that you'd like. Um, that is completely up to you, it's your blanket. But I'll show you what was done for that blanket. So once you end here, um at the top here you do not want to tie off what we're going to do is we're going to go around with a row of single cro crochet to kind of clean up these edges so we're going to go ahead and start off here remember i didn't tie off after this last single crochet we're going to go ahead and start by working it down the side and what we're going to do is do our best to evenly space out single crochets down the side because when you look at the side, you can tell there's not, it's, it's very hard. There's not really any stitches to put your single crochet in. So what we do is we do our best to evenly space them. But since we're starting a new row, we're going around, I'm going to start off with the chain of one. And now I'm going to work my way down and I'm going to do my best to evenly just kind of space out single crochets down the side you're not it doesn't uh it doesn't have to be any certain number so your number can be different than mine in fact i won't even count mine 
because since we're evenly spaced in them, we're, we're all just doing our best to get them to be evenly spaced. So everybody's number will probably be different. And then we're going to do this evenly spaced out one all the way down the side of the blanket until we get to the corner. So I'll meet back up with you when I make it down to the corner of the blanket. All right, now when you make it down here to the corner, you want to put three single crochets into the corner stitch. So there's one, two, and there's three. And then we'll continue across the bottom, which you'll probably be able to see the stitches a lot better now, working one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our next corner. And when we make it to our next corner, we will work three single crochets in that corner. So that's what we're going to continue to do all the way around. One single crochet in every stitch. And then in the corners, we put three single crochets in each of the corner stitches. So I'm going to continue one single crochet all the way across. And when I get to this corner, I'll put three single crochets in it. And then I'll continue up the side and I will work evenly space out my single crochets again up the side and then when I get to the top three single crochets in this corner and then one single crochet across the top again and then I'll meet back up with you right here where we started all right so I made it back to my starting point and in my very last stitch here I'm going to work three single crochets to end that round now we're going to do one more stitch around for the edging now you do not have to do the edging like me you can do it any way that you'd like i'm going to be working a twisted double crochet edge which is a very very simple to do um so i think i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch like that so that kind of ends that the row of single crochet that we did all the way around. It kind of gives us a base for our twisted double crochet. Now the twisted double is very, very easy to do. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you. Um, I know my yarn is dark, but it is bright enough in here. And this is stitch is very easy. You should, you will be able to see it. So the first one, I'm going to chain one. Now we're going to go back into the very first stitch here. Yarn over just like a regular double crochet go into the stitch and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, just like a regular double, and yarn over and go through the first two stitches. Two stitches on your hook. Now this is how we get the twist. You just take your hook, but you wanna make sure the loops on your hook are not too tight. Take your hook, do a twist like that, and then yarn over and go through the loops on your hook. Like I said, make sure they're not too tight, but that is a twisted double. Now, you want to do that in every stitch across. I'm going to switch colors here in a second so you can see it better. Um, but you just yarn over again, go into the next stitch and draw up a loop just like a double. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then you have two loops that remain. Just take your hook. Make sure your loops aren't real tight on your hook. Twist it like that. And then yarn over and go through the loops that remain on your hook. And that is the twisted double crochet. It's very, very simple. Um, and I'm going to do this all the way down until I get to my corner stitch, which is the, there's a group of three single crochet in each corner, the middle stitch of that corner. I'm gonna put three twisted double crochets. Let me switch colors here so I could show you just a little bit better. But the blanket was done in solid black on mine but you can do it in any color that you want let me give up a yarn switch here okay just to show you for tutorial purposes um i had i have worked a twisted double in a different color so this is what it kind of looks like i do realize that the black was real hard to see so it gives a nice edge at the top kind of resembling um the reverse single or the crab stitch i guess just a little bit but it you know makes a round edge here at the top so again, I'll go ahead and show you, and I'm working down here towards the corner. So again, we just yarn over, and you go into the next stitch, draw up a loop like a double, yarn over and go through the first two, and you got two loops on your hook. You just want to make sure they're not, they're not real tight, and just twist your hook like that, and yarn over and go through those two, two, two loops 
and I got one kind of tight, but just like that. Again, yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. You got two that remain, and go ahead and give your hook. You can do it, just twist it like that. So those loops are twisted on your hook, and then yarn over and go through those two remaining loops. And I'm going to continue this until I get to the middle stitch of that group of three in the corner. And I am there. So I'm in my middle stitch of that group of three, and I'm going to work three of these twisted double crochets into that stitch, which will help the corner lay flat. There's one in that one. Same one again. Two in that one. And one more time in the same stitch. And three into that one. And then we continue along and we work one twisted double into every stitch again until we get to the corner. The next corner and that's it that's how the border is it's so easy for the this blanket here that you see remember though you don't have to use this border you use anything any border you'd like it's your blanket but this is just one way to do it so I will continue around and that's what it looks like working one twisted double crochet into every stitch and then when I get to each of the four corners I work three twisted double crochets in the middle stitch of the prior single crochets if that makes sense all the way around and when I make it back to my last stitch I would just slip stitch into it tie off hide my tails blanket is finished I really like the twisted double crochet border I think it's very nice I do but whatever you choose for a border will be beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make this blanket or something else out of this stitch, I'd really love to see a picture. You can come follow me on Facebook or Instagram and show me your work. Um, also, there's a link below in the description box to all my tutorials. Please don't forget to check them out. I want to give a special shout out uh, to Cheryl. Thank you very much for everything that you do. And I will see everybody next on my next uh, video whatever that might be. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.